Tasmania and I thought I'd just quickly document a little bit of my trip. It's 10 a.m. here and I'm just taking my time just walking to my hotel room. I've decided I'm not gonna get a car rental and spend the $400. Uh, instead, I'm just gonna walk and maybe catch a bus and just try to save a bit of money here and there to cut costs down a bit because this trip's already cost me a fortune just to do this one race in here in Hobart. So where I'm at now, it says 18 kilometers, four hours and 25 minutes to get there. At this point, I, I already feel like giving up. I've stopped at this cafe that's, oh, I think that's my bus. That was the bus I was meant to take. Uh. That was the bus I was meant to take, but there's, a, there's another bus that comes at 12.15. Oh, I'll just enjoy this um, burger while I'm here. I'm going to show you a little bit around my room. Um, it's a bit of a mess now. I just got here, I, just, I crashed. Two hours, woke up, made myself some tea. do some barefoot running just feel get grounded to the earth just get my toes and my my feet and all that just loosened up a bit especially after all that sitting on, on the plane and and this is a nice grass field I can do my foot, barefoot running on not a bad place hey guys I'm just gonna give you a quick review of how I found the speed goes today I tried them out yesterday for a flat 6k loop and then I tried them again today on various surfaces um, for a 13k run. And here we have the Hoka Speed Goat 2s. Really good shoe for now. Um, until I race tomorrow, I will give you my final opinion on these. But I'm confident that these will do the job tomorrow. This is the way to go. Just travel on the beam, everyone. Okay, so I'm walking around the botanical gardens. Found this little hot pretty chill spot there's barely anyone here so it feels like I've got this uh, garden all to myself welcome to my home guys just got back home actually enormous the video won't justify how big that actually is Guys, so I thought I'd quickly tell you about how my race went. Unfortunately, no footage of me actually running the race, but I thought I'd give you a quick recap anyways of how the race went. 20 minutes to start. Oh, I just, my breakfast was pretty filling. I feel a bit sick to my stomach, but I think that's normal because of the race nerves. But, got everything ready. One's uh, got electrolytes, one's got just plain water. All my gels. Let's go. I went into the race feeling pretty optimistic about how I think I would go. I thought I would at least get top 10, but that obviously wasn't the case. It was a high stacked field. Uh, I was probably sitting around 15th place to 20th place once I reached the top. But then on the way back down, I probably went in front of about five people and I was, think I was sitting around 13th place. Um, but unfortunately with two kilometers to go, I veered off course, I got lost, and I went from being around 13th place to 31st place. So not the story I wanted to tell you guys, but look, nevertheless, I got the experience, which is all that matters. And one thing I must say is that the Hocus Pocus Go 5s really helped me out a lot. Exactly what I needed for that course. I could uh, attack the downhill sections with confidence. That was no problem at all. And that was the kind of show I was looking for and it was comfortable enough to get me through the duration of the course a 25 kilometer run it's perfect for that and it's perfect on all types of terrains i've run with these shoes on road and now um very technical terrain and it really helped a lot 
So hope you speak out fives. I'll definitely wear them for my next race. Only positive feedback on those, no negative, because if there was anything negative, I probably wouldn't be wearing it for my next race. So there you guys go. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and comment. Please share some, some of your thoughts with me on this race. Any questions, please, I'd love to see what you guys think and what you guys have to say. Thanks very much for watching. Till next time.